Hey guys, so for this week's video I have a book review for you. Um, I'm only going to be reviewing one book, usually I do two, but I've been kind of on like a book reading hiatus type of thing, I haven't been interested in reading. So this book that I'm going to talk about has gotten me into reading again. So the book that I'm going to be reviewing is Severed Souls by Terry Goodkind. Good, good kind. <laughs> yeah. So this is one of the books that I had mentioned in... A video that I did earlier this year, I was talking about book releases I was looking forward to. Yeah, this came out in the summer and I've been dying to get my hands on it and I finally have and I read it and I have a couple thoughts to share with you guys on it. Alright, so Severed Souls, the book, if you can tell, is pretty big. Um, it has more or less the same amount of pages as the last one. There are 558 pages in this book. It's a pretty dense book, <laughs> just like The Third Kingdom. So this book follows um, Richard and Kaylin, who are characters in the Sword of Truth series. If you've ever read the, the, Truth, the Sword of Truth series, it's uh, the same characters, but it's not part of the series. And it's not how he left off in the last book. I was interested to see how he was going to continue on. I have to say that I did enjoy the book. I did like it. I had some moments where I was tearing. I cried. Um, yeah, so I went through emotions reading this book. Um, of course, there's some things I liked, some things I didn't, and I'm just going to talk to you about that. So I think he did a good job in this book compared to the last book, which I wasn't that much of a fan of because if you want to know what my thoughts were, I'll link the video below that I did, a review on it. In this book, we got Richard and Kaylin back with us. We get to see their perspective and hear their voice and their thoughts and stuff like that. And we have the characters that we lost off from the last one. We have Zed, we have Nikki, we have Samantha. And, um, Hannah's Ark and Sulachan, Sulachan or Sulachan, I'm not sure how you say it, and Ludwig Dreer, the bane of my existence. Yeah, so, getting right into it. it this book left, took place after Richard uh, rescues Kaylin and Abadrir is able to escape and a lot of things happen and the Third Kingdom has basically been exposed to everyone else and there's the walking... I can explain The Walking Dead. There's The Living Dead coming out. And Hannah's Ark is hell-bent on taking over the world. He didn't really... He started off the book talking with... Um, talking about like Hannah's Ark and Sulachan. Sulachan? I'm not sure how you gonna, how you say it. Um, but it focuses on them in the beginning and then it kind of just like switches over. We don't really hear that much from them anymore. <clears throat> because I really was expecting to hear more about their side and the war and things like that. But... I didn't mind because I enjoy seeing more of Richard and Kaylin, but I wish he would have maybe touched back base, you know, touched um, back with them to so, like give the readers an idea of where they are and what's going on. Um, I have to say that I don't know how they're going to be able to get out of like what's going on now with, you know, both of them teamed up together trying to get rid of everyone and take over. I honestly, it just seems like such an insurmountable. Just, it, they, it just seems too hard. I have to say, uh, Terry was very descriptive in this book. He has a lot of descriptions, like the way that he described the emerging dead made me feel a little sick. I'm not lying, like just a little bit sick. Um, it's so, like he's really good at that, I think, being describing things. Um, he's also very descriptive with locations. Um, it made, which I like, I like sometimes when authors are descriptive with the locations um, because it gives me a better sense of imagining how everything looks and where they are and paints a picture for me um, and he did that a lot when they were walking through the darklands because this is a place that we don't really know anything about and he's going through like um, like forests and caves and these animals um, speaking of animals I thought that Gratch was going to come back. I don't know why, but I have this thing that I love Gratch from. If you've read the Sword of Truth series, Gratch is like, he's so cute. But we do get another animal friend named Hunter, and um, he has a thing for Kaylin, which I really like. I enjoy that he puts like little animals or creature type of things that um, interact with them and they kind of have a bond with them. I was hoping that Hunter would kind of stay along for a little bit longer, but it's cool. My favorite person to hate. Ludwig Dreer or Abadrier. I hate him. I hate him so much. He annoys me uh, to no end. 
Um, we don't get to see that much of having to do with him. We get to hear his story a little bit. And I was curious to hear a little bit more, but then when they got to the Citadel, I had a feeling that it was going to intersect. Um, and I'm happy that Kaylin kept her word. I am so happy. Like, I I can't even speak about that. I'm happy when it comes to, what's, what's the girl's name? Oh, Erica and Drear, because they were disgusting and <laughs> needed to leave. The main thing I have to say, why? When it comes to Zed, I mean, I love Zed. I've always loved Zed since like the beginning of the series, and I definitely cried, especially when it came to like Richard just describing how he feels, and then when he finds out who kills Zed, like that had me like I was crying, and then everything that happened after he finds out the killer, who the killer is, it was just like a succession of things. It was just like too much, and. <sighs> It was very emotional. But I did enjoy the moments that he did have with Zed in the book. I felt like they were kind of leading up to it, especially when he was having the talk with Richard when they're setting up camp. Um, and he says, you know, telling him that he should enjoy the little things. And there was just something about that scene when he's talking to him that felt a little serene, like he was kind of at peace. It was a little bit off. So when Terry was writing in that Richard felt that it was off, I knew that something was going to happen. It just like it was it was building up to it I knew the part there was a part in the book where Zed's talking to Richard about mankind's biggest flaw and I absolutely love that part I like wholeheartedly agree with everything that he tells Richard when he's talking to him in that in that point in the book about what he thinks Richard should do um, in terms of you know saving the world and things like that and then also explaining to him why he feels that Richard should do so and so I don't want to give it away but I just I love that part and he touches upon um, you know things that I think everyone thinks of and maybe well not maybe maybe not everyone but most people kind of think about and especially when it comes to like science fiction and fantasy books they touch upon it more dystopian novels just how innately greedy mankind can be and how hate can fester and uh, <laughs> how he can fester and like um, affect so many people um, so I liked his little dialogue I thought it was really nice that they got to you know have conversations because in the last book he was thinking about Zed a lot another part that I really enjoyed was when Kaylin was talking to Nikki when she like talks to Nikki about how Nikki loves Richard so much and Nikki asks her a question and she <laughs> I think uh, I forgot what the question was but She's um, Kaylin actually takes the time to explain to Nikki how she felt about her from, you know, when she first f had met her when he when she took uh, when Nikki had taken Richard from Kaylin when she was recovering, and up until that point, and she was able to like tell Nikki honestly and highlight the progression of her feelings and give her reasons why she's had changes of heart during um, during the time that she's known her, and. Um, she was able to do it in a way that didn't bring Nikki down and she wasn't hurting Nikki's feelings, but she was still being honest. It wasn't that she was like mincing words to be nice. Um, I just really like that. I feel like sometimes, like in that particular scene when Nikki asked her the question, that could have gone a different way. And I really liked how Terry was able to like pull that away and kind of make it an adult grown up conversation between two women who care for each other and are being honest. Um, I just, I really loved it. It was like a sister bonding moment. I don't know. I just really liked how he went about it. Another part that I really liked was towards kind of like the, the end. It was a page 521. When he's talking about death, I'm going to tell you why, <laughs> but he's, he's just, Terry is talking about like death and the darkness and being pulled under. And I really enjoyed that scene that he wrote. Um, just for the visual images that are brought to mind and it had me thinking about the afterlife and you know it, it included things that I've probably thought about myself when it comes to like what happens when you die kind of things and it was very emotionally charged because of what was happening but I don't want to spoil it for you guys so there was a part in the book which I'll even tell you the exact page I wrote it down page 389 that if you read the book or you've read the book um you can find it there but I feel like he kind of put in a little bit of an innuendo 
having to deal with like the oracle when the oracle is um being shuffled about the town to take one of them to see well actually she's not the oracle one of them to see the oracle um so a young girl who's blindfolded yeah i don't know i felt like that was a little bit of an innuendo there what he wrote i don't know if you can find it you can let me know <laughs> another thing is i this book reinforced for me that i really really love kaylin like i think kaylin is like my favorite character point blank i love everyone in the book but kaylin is my favorite character just how strong she is like she's able to think quickly on her feet and just go through so much and put her ego aside and I don't know I just like I really loved Caitlyn I think this book highlighted just how badass she is like I, I loved her so much I love her so much <laughs> and um Samantha it was a little bit troubling with Samantha because I mean she didn't have that much to do in this book like she did in the last one um and I didn't like how they left it off with Samantha I think someone should have stopped her. Um, I hate that because I know that that's setting it up for something later on and then that just means that there's never going to be peace. Um, but when, in terms of Irina, her mother, I saw that. I saw that coming once before, even before like Nikki started having her conversation. So I kind of had a feeling when it came to Irina um, that something was up. Only because of the little subtle hints that, or not so subtle hints, that Terry was putting in when it came to Nikki, that Nikki was very cautious about the woman and just gave her looks. And I feel like the characters that we have, like Nikki and Zed and Kaylin and Richard, for the most part we are able, they're reliable in that we as readers can, um, what's the word, <laughs> that we as readers can believe their intuition we can trust in their intuition um, because usually they know something <laughs> they know usually the intuition is right about other people and situations so once he started writing in the Nikki was kind of acting very weird around arena I had a feeling that she wasn't everyone you know she wasn't what she was making out to be um, I did see it coming before it happened if you read the book that you know what I'm talking about, I did see it coming. Um, when she started walking um, with Richard and Kaylin when they're trying to go to the room to get some rest, um, I knew. I knew it was going to happen and I knew Samantha was going to be there. I just, I knew. I, I, you could see. The other thing is that I really miss Kara. I think seeing the Mord Sith and them being in the books a little bit, like, just made me think about Cara, Cara and then also Kaylin thinks about her as well and they kind of bring her up um, and I'm really curious what happened to her especially now that these legions of reanimated dead are walking around I really want to know what happens with her like where is she is she alive is she fine is she fighting um, has she given up the fight like trying to live peacefully um, I'm just really really curious about that I'm very interested if um, I'm excited because I feel like the next book is going to touch on the people's palace and maybe we're going to see Nathan again which I really like Nathan especially you know after Zed um, and I want to see what's going on there and also see where Hannah's arc is if he's any closer I really hope that they are able to get closer the one thing about this book they kind of drove me insane but it's not because of the book it's just because of the time period and the place where they are is the fact that everything is so far away and it takes so long to get everywhere and that just makes me really thankful for not living before the time of like cars and trains and planes <laughs> because if I had to travel for days on end trying to you know fulfill a top like important mission or something like I would go I would go crazy like I wouldn't be able to just keep going and these characters just keep going so it just seems like it's like a really slow 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 pace to get to where they need to ultimately be and it's always like that but I just felt it more in this book because I feel like the threat is bigger all right so those are my thoughts on the book Severed Souls um, I tried to stay away from any spoilers before I read the book, but I did read one spoiler, which I'm not going to spoil for you guys, so I'm not going to say it, but 
Um, if you're watching this review, I would hope you have read the book, maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, it's... It, all in all, I really enjoyed the book. I really liked it a lot. I'm definitely looking forward to the next book because how this book ends off, you can tell that there's going to be a book coming after it. So I can't wait for that. Um, if you've read the book and want to let me know what you thought of it, leave it in the comment section below. And I will link the video that I mentioned about the previous uh, review for the other book in the down bar below as well. And I'll list all my social media and stuff and where you can find me. And that's it. I'll see you guys next week with a new video. Bye!